encroachment on the catchment areas of River Rizi in Uwezu and Busenyi districts, as well as Mbarara town, has been blamed for the rising water shortage in Mbarara and the neighborhood. River Rizi, 56 kilometers long, is the main source of water for Mbarara and eight other districts in which the river intersects before pouring into Lake Victoria. This water resource serves close to one million people and a known number of domestic animals and industries in Mbarara municipality and is now affected by human activities that include sand mining, land and wetland degrading along the river banks. Water and environmental experts say receding waters of River Rizi is bound to affect Mbarara municipality, the fastest growing town in western Uganda. According to National Water and Sewage Corporation Water Engineer Mbarara Branch, unfriendly human activities have led to the silting of the river. When they dig along the river and uh, during uh, arena seasons, the low water changes the color. It turns to brownish or brick red. And during the process of treating, it becomes hard to treat to remove that color. So people think you're getting them? We do it, we do it with the consumption of high chemicals. And that makes it expensive? Yeah, of course it makes it expensive. But the corporate affairs director, Nile Brewery's distilleries company, Okomoloit Onapito, dismisses alarming reports of the receding water levels of River Rizi. He says, with the new technologies, the current water levels is enough for the industrial use in the beer production and will not affect their plant. We have understanding with the National Water Corporation to only directly extract water when the level is high enough. And if you consider in 2014, uh, 2013 to 14, we were extracting less water directly, meaning the national water was the one regulating. Now we are extracting more, meaning that the river level is actually stable. On top of that, the technology we are using for processing beer is what you may call state of the art. It ensures that we use less water. To produce every liter of beer, we actually use only four liters of water. We used to use seven liters when we started production in Jinja. And we hope and we are planning to reduce the amount to even under three liters of water to produce one liter of beer. On top of that, we have an effluent treatment plant. This plant makes sure that all the wastewater that we use in processing beer is treated and then returned to the river. And the, the scientists will tell you that after treatment, the water is actually cleaner than when we bring it from the river. So, so those are some of the assurances why I do not agree with the alarmist. The perennial river is shared by Mbarara and eight other districts of a population of 4 million covering 2,521 square kilometers. And unless something is done to resuscitate the receding water levels, Mbarara and neighboring eight districts are heading for a disaster. Till tomorrow, 3.30 p.m., when we bring you more of this story in our Explore Uganda's potential, only on WBS-TV.